I know it's not the best shot, but at least my face is in here. You can see me. Okay. Your intuition is your golden whisper and got you to your inner light. Bohemian dreams. Um, my name is Debbie Xchel. I am a holistic mama coach. I'm here to make you stretch yourself and show you who you truly are. Um, for this month's video, I've decided to do a Q&A video. Also, if there are things you would really like to see from me, um, just tell me because I, I really want to create all of this for you. I want to create yoga classes for moms. I want to create uh, meditations. I really, I want to know what you feel responsible for. I want to know I want to know what you do, what fires you up, what lights you up. I really, I want to get to know you guys. So the first question I got uh, was posted by Eva. She asks, how are you doing in this period? Um, honestly, it's been very overwhelming for me. I'm a very sensitive person, but oof, being a mom, an entrepreneur and an employee while running a household trying to make a relationship thrive has um, brought me to dark places and uh, I regret sharing with you that this relationship for now is over. I don't know I don't want to really share all this stuff so personal with you um, but yes, of course, I, like anyone, um, have my struggles. What influence does yoga have on your daily life? Uh, well, during the quarantine, I have started my self-quarantine survival show on Instagram, which I did for 30 days, sharing with you the Kriya yoga philosophy and how that applies to me and how that can apply to your life, which is super interesting and which is basically the core of my own yoga practice um, as it keeps me focused and centered in myself. Um, my yoga practice uh, has a lot of ups and downs. Sometimes I can practice day after day, then I don't practice for a few weeks. I feel I do better when I take consistent yoga classes, but also that have, has been hard um, with Luna at home in the evening. Try to focus on writing my book because that's also something that I've been doing for the past months. So it's been really uh, trying to juggle with all the all the balls, wearing all the hats, trying to, to balance, to find a harmony, uh, to make things work. And um, my practice never really leaves me. It's really a part of who I am because also if I don't practice a physical yoga class, I take a moment for myself every day even if it's a five minute med meditation or I journal or I do a prayer or I see my holy Mary image and surrender to to the mother to the universe it's my it's my biggest support yoga invites me to be a better person it invites me for growth for change for expansion not because I so necessarily have to be a better person, but because that is what consciousness does. It expands, it grows, and if you don't evolve, you fall behind at a certain point. I think it's the only true option that I have to choose growth, and I will forever do that, and I will not shy away from facing my shadows. and. I can tell you, it's hard to be confronted with the depths of, of you. But with compassion and love, it is definitely doable and you will never, never regret learning how to love yourself. Um, then I had another question. Yeah, how can you let go of someone who's not good for you but who you still love that after a long friendship, all of a sudden, blocked you and then uh, she says you can also say how do you let go of a relationship or people who are not good for you i'm in the middle of this and i know it's really hard and it's heartbreaking don't think of this person as a bad person 
friendship or any relationship is learning us how to relate to each other and if we cannot relate to each other anymore it's not a relationship and that doesn't mean that the other person is bad or had bad intentions if you start to look at it from the perspective of spirit or universal love you will learn that if you were in their shoes you would have probably done the exact same thing seeing where they come from and with that love with that compassion you know that you can forgive knowing that this love does not come from the other person this person is not separate from you this person is within you because the love you give to this person and the love this person gave to you doesn't really come from them and our minds make it so that we experience loss and grief but we can only experience what we believe so as long as we believe in loss and separation and taking something apart from us that is so near and dear you shouldn't do that to yourself because it is never apart from you Oof. okay i'm going to move on to the next question what um travel are you going to do after i'm translating the question so that's why i'm thinking i got all the questions in dutch uh what what travel are you going to do after corona honestly i have no clue i really have no clue i would love to go back to latin america uh, i started teaching spanish again recently as a like a corona compromise because i still had a lot of spanish classes that i taught in the past and is an easy thing for me to do and i really miss latin america and the first two countries that pop to mind are peru and cuba i would love love absolutely love to go there of course spain is always in my heart but i've been there so many times after this lockdown really i think it's time to start exploring the world again if you can i would also love to go back to mexico and nicaragua so many places yeah definitely that's in america i'm in the middle of the process of uh, getting my book edited um, I will let you guys know soon when the pre-sale is up for now if you want to receive an email when uh, the pre-sale is going live I'm going to sell a packet with bonuses and I will share with you the launch date and everything sign up for my email list you can find the link below in the description box I would love to see you there and with that I'm also giving away a free coaching session and the giveaway is open until Mother's Day. I wanted to gift something of me to you all. I really hope you enjoyed this short little Q&A. Give me a thumbs up, drop a comment, share with your friends and I'd be really happy to see you again in the next video. Namaste. Have a magical day.